Hi guys and ladies, I found a Chinese fish recipe online that sounds scrumptious. It calls for catfish, and although Lake Catcher Big One has catfish, I'm terrible at fishing for them. So to make a video worth watching where I actually catch fish, I need to stay in my comfort zone. So how about some bass? I'm gonna make my first cat right here off the dock. It's yet another hot, dry, sunny day here on our drought-stricken lake, and conditions are tough. So I'll change lures as needed, but let's start out with this. It's a small spinner bait, and we'll see if anything bites it. Look in the notes below for a description of the tackle I use and info on the lake. gotta throw him back. That's not worth even two little fillets. <laughs> Who would have thunk a bluegill on a big spinner bait? I'll keep him. Looky here. I'm not having any luck with the spinner bait, so I'm just gonna put a worm on a worm hook and cast it out, see what happens. See? <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> it had been so long and all of a sudden now, wow! <laughs> Dinner. Oh, maybe he's too big. Twelve and a half. I make the rules. I'm keeping him. Oh, oh, <sighs> oh, I am desperate. I was out here so long. This may be over the rule, but I make the rules. It's my lake. I'm going to keep this one because it's two beautiful fillets. 12 inches, exactly. Oh, oh, I'm keeping them. Fish took it. Oh my God, it's a big one. Oh, God. I think it's a catfish. Oh my God, I don't have strong enough line. Oh, I'll never get this one. It's. This is gonna break off my line. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! A beast. <laughs> A beast from Lake Catch a Big One. Wow! I didn't think I'd bring it in. <laughs> I got lucky. 21 and a half inches. Look at this guy. Wow. <laughs> Let's let him go. What a beast. Come on. Oh, it's a good one. Oh, I don't want too good. I want an eater. Ah, <sighs> beast. Uh. That's a good fish. It's too big to eat though. Another nice one. 14 and three quarters. Hey, I gotta get food fast. So I put on this little jig on this uh, spinning rod and reel and maybe I'll catch a bluegill. Who knows? There's something. Yes. <laughs> so little, but I need them. But I need the food, two more fillets. <laughs> I'm trying everything. This is called a TRD, and I've got it on a 1 16th ounce jig. And I'm gonna try to catch 
whatever swims. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nice. <laughs> nice, nice. Good eater. Mm. Little. <laughs> now I need to keep them. <laughs> so little. Get them out of the lake. Big. <laughs> oh, wide. I've got plenty of fish now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, look at this. I have plenty of fish for my Chinese fish dinner. Here it is the next day. I was lucky enough to get a pound and a half of fish fillets. And I had some great fun catching a bass of nearly six pounds. I want to get started on our Chinese fish, but first, let's whip up some fried rice. I got a skillet on medium, and I'm just putting in four tablespoons of cooking oil. Look at a 12 ounce bag of already riced up cauliflower. <laughs> Remember, we're on low carb here. I got this uh, bag at Trader Joe's. Here's about two teaspoons of diced up uh, garlic from the jar. Looky here. One quarter cup of light soy sauce. Here's about a teaspoon and a half of sesame oil. I moved our rice to the side of the pan. And now look, I've got a, a scrambled up large egg here. There you go. I'm just going to incorporate it now. Looking good little pepper. Now some salt. Just a little salt. That pre-riced cauliflower is already salted. This is not even in the recipe. I just can't resist. Here's six strips of bacon chopped up. I don't know. Goes with eggs. Three chopped up green onions go in now. And that's it. We're done. I'm taking everything out. I have to taste a little bit of it. Just a little. It really does taste like fried rice. <laughs> Try it, you're gonna love it. Let's get on with the fish. I'm going to make a glaze. I've got a can here of low sodium chicken broth. Just gonna empty most of it in there. So I've got arrowroot here. It's a thickener and it's low in carbs, very low. And here's like, oh, I don't know, four or five uh, teaspoons. Now I'm going to turn on our broiler. I've got four teaspoons of sesame oil here. I got four teaspoons of ground ginger from a jar. Let's see if this works. Look what I have two teaspoons of crushed garlic, also from a jar. Ah. Ah. Help! <laughs> Only a few seconds you want this to go. I'll clean the mess later. I have two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar here. Now, two tablespoons of soy sauce, light soy sauce. Two teaspoons of Splenda. Low carb, remember? Our chicken broth mixture, remember? With arrowroot. Oh. oh, look, it's thickening. Oh, yeah. Come back tomorrow. Look, our sauce is boiling, and look what happened to it. It got really thick. I'm going to take it off the heat now. We're done with the sauce. Here's our fish fillets, and all I'm going to do is brush the thick sauce on our fillets. See what, oh yeah, yeah, it works. It works. 
I really loaded these up with our sauce and I'm gonna put them in the broiler now. Four minutes total, I'm not gonna flip them, they're too thin. While our fish is broiling away in the oven, I, I might as well let you all know that the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way over for dinner tonight. You know, we've been seeing each other for 50 years now, but she doesn't seem to appreciate the, the joys of marriage. You'd think she would see how others are happily married, but she never brings it up. I, I don't know how I can enlighten her. I forgot to hit the timer button. It's been about six minutes. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spread more sauce on. Make sure you boil your sauce. You don't want to contaminate anything. I re-sauced them up. I'm going to put them back in for one minute. Hey, it's time to get the fish out for the last time. Let's see how they look. Ah. <laughs> They look great. I want to taste just a little. Mm-hmm. That sauce. Okay. <laughs> Here we are once again with the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for coming out to my dreadful double wide. Mm. I do appreciate uh, your presence. And you had a uh, a chance to dine on my uh, Chinese fish with uh, ginger sauce and also that uh, the fake fried rice. What did you think? It was all very good. I enjoyed all, all of it. They, you know, I love Chinese food anyway, and the fish was good. And the, the ginger rice sauce was good. Was nice. Yes, I liked it. I, I added a little sauce, uh, salt. It needed just yeah. a, a tad. Bit. And I liked the scallions too. Oh, they great. were crispy and tasty. Great. Yes. Uh, Miss Cheeks, uh, oh, I mean Lulu. Uh, you know our married friends, Fred and Alice? Mm -hmm. well, you know, they were happy for 30 years. Yeah, but then they met. Oh. Can I have a hug? Oh.